Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Glenn here. Back for another Transformers review. This time, we are reviewing the Transformers Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Warpath. And yes, I do have him in his tank mode. I do have him in his tank mode. Because I did not want to go through the hassle of is robot to transfer the robot to the vehicle because the vehicle is retarded so anyway we have warpath here and like always we'll take a look at, at the box here is his box warpath on the front there he is there he is in the back and the good kingdom art on the side boo i'm gonna hope you guys liked yesterday's video it was for the transformer siege the war for cybertron jetfire and i hope you guys liked that um hope you guys liked that video that freaking thing is acting stupid because it's a little loose here is Warpath. Oh my God. There we go. Here is Warpath in his tank mode. Really nice. The turret can move side to side. He can roll pretty well. The turret can go up and down. Well, the cannon can go up and down. The turret can move. There's a nice, excuse me. There's a nice uh, Ottawa symbol right there, and the turrets, ob uh, the treads obviously do not move. There are plastic wheels at the bottom for it to roll, and the treads and stuff like that is on the bottom. That is painted in white. Not a good white, but it's okay. He's not too heavy, he's, and obviously he's a deluxe class. So he's not too heavy. He's decently sized for a deluxe class figure. For a deluxe class figure. And yeah, that is pretty much it for the tank mode that I can think of. Yeah, that is pretty much it for the tank mode. So let's get right on end to the transformation, shall we? Yes. All right. You want to come down here and just remove this. Just remove that. Put it off to the side. And now we just want to untab everything here. And just untab this. Untab that. Flip out the arms. Bring these down. Fold this like that. Flip this down. And just fold this down and just collapse this like that rotate the thigh around and just fold that in like that there you go you have one leg down and for the other side it's the same thing put that down click that in and just untap all of this like so well, maybe. Maybe. There we go. Like that. And just do that. Flip the thigh around. And there we go. You got two feet. Two legs. Oops. And now we shall deal with the arms. You come over here to this to this piece and just flip it down, untap it, and fold that in. And there you go, one arm done. Same thing on the side, untap that, fold it, and there we go. And what you want to do for this, you want to take this piece right here, and just untap it, fold it in, and flip it down. Come up here and untap the top. Flip out the head, 
compress the cannon in and just flip that up and flip this all the way up until it clicks into place and just rotate the arms and there we have it here is warpath in his robot mode i love this figure so much these new kingdom line figures are so awesome they're so great i love these figures and i hope you guys like these reviews <laughs> sorry about that i hope you guys like this like these reviews because i love this and obviously i like this big boy too even though he was very hard to film he's such a great figure and this is a great figure for a deluxe class and i have two more other kingdom figures that i will be reviewing later on this week and I'm glad to be back for you guys to give you these reviews and the Dragon Stars reviews. So I hope you guys can support me on those. And anyway, back to the review. Um, we can come back to this. And there is a tab right there. There's a tab right here. You can just tab this in his arm. There you go. He's got like a little shield thing. Like that. Yeah. Little shield thing. And just remove. Come on. Remove. Ah, there we go. Phew. And for the articulation for this figure, the head is on a ball joint so it can move. And look up that far and down that far. The shoulder can rotate in and out. Bicep can move up and down. High kick, back, pretty, nah, decently far. Pivot, pivot. And the turret can, the cannon can move. Like that, if you so want to. And there is no waist articulation, but that is okay. And for the kibble for this, excuse me, for the kibble for this figure is not that bad. Obviously, you got the treads on the arms and that on the back, but eh, you can be all right with it. Like, I did have the original figure, like the little mini, mini Warpath, but I have no clue where that's at, or I would have done a review on it. And I had the Bumblebee and the Tailgate as well. But I have no clue where they're at. So, yeah. Sorry about that. But that is okay. And I like this figure. And this is the only accessory that it comes with. Because this is part of the transformation. So, kind of parts forming. So, eh. I don't really mind it. But it just depends on whatever you guys like. But I particularly do not mind it. And that will be it for the review. I hope you guys liked the video. If you do, click the like button. Click the subscribe button down below. Click that notification bell down below to stay updated on every time I upload. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.